talk about the shift in a little bit tonight. Yes. And um, the shift, the shift, the shift. And uh, to shift means to exchange one thing for another. Um, it means to move or transfer from one place or position to another. To shift, to shift, to alter, to alter. Uh, and, and I like this definition. It means to change gears, y'all. <laughs> See, some of y'all are not familiar with a stick shift. How many of y'all ever drove a stick shift? Anybody ever drove a stick shift? Wow, more hands than I might think. But uh, I, I learned on a stick shift. See, back in the day, you didn't have no automatic. All you had was stick shift. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they invented the automatic, but, but you had to learn how to hit that clutch and, and, and shift gears. Amen. And, and it, it was a, it's an art to shift in gears. Because cause you got you to gotta have your foot on the gas, and you got to do the clutch, and you got to work them things together. Or if you don't, you're going to kill it. You're going to say, I thought you was going to preach. I'm preaching right now. <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't do it right, you're going to kill it. <laughs> so so, so you got you to gotta learn how to push the clutch in and give it just enough gas and let up off the clutch and, and shift it into that next gear. Because you're going, you, in, in that first gear, you can only go so fast. Some of us that never learned how to shift gears, we just stayed in first. <laughs> just stayed right there in first. Tell somebody God don't want you staying in first. <laughs> Tell him he got, he got the next level for you to go to. Amen. It's time to shift into second gear. <laughs> and when you get into second, you can go a little faster. Uh, uh, but you can get to a place even in second gear. That you done reached your limit. And it's time to shift on in the third gear. Hallelujah. And some, some cars got a fourth gear and a fifth gear. And then some of them got what they call overdrive. <laughs> God ready for some of us to go into overdrive, y'all. That's supernatural drive. So a shift can mean a change in direction. And, and talks about a shifting of the wind. A change in attitude, judgment, or emphasis. There's also in geology, geology what they call a shift. In the, with the plates and stuff in the ground. A shift. The thing about a shift is, when a shift happens, things are never the same again. Shifts change things forever. Some of us in here, God has caused a shift to be in your life. Really took some people out of your life. And you've been trying to get back to them ever since. <laughs> you've been trying your best to get back over there. But God has made a shift. You're not supposed to be over there. It's a new season in your life. It's been a shift. See, sometimes we, we can be just like the children of Israel. God, God had shifted them. He had shifted them out of Egypt, y'all. They had been in slavery. They had prayed for deliverance. And God brought them out with a mighty hand. Let me tell you what God will do when he shifts in your life. Them same people that oppressed them, them same people that beat them and, and made them slaves, when they left, Gave them gold and silver and clothes and all kind of things. When God makes a shift in your life, he will even give you favor with your enemies. But what happens when they get out there and a little trouble comes? Let's go back to Egypt. Learn to praise the Lord in your test. All he's trying to do is shift you. Hey, he's trying to shift you to the next gear. He's trying to take you to the next place. Amen. Amen. Shifting ain't easy, y'all. <laughs> Just obey. That's what it's going to take, y'all, to shift. That's what it's going to take for the shift. If you're not willing to obey, you'll never move from where you are. 
You'll stay in second grade the rest of your life. 